Hey guys, what's cooking? Dude Long Couch here. Welcome back to Zelda. Okay guys, just to get you caught up on what happens during the off-camera playtime. You guys didn't really miss anything at all. All I did was uh, set my Shika sensor to find some Hightail Lizards and some electric key swings. Took about an hour overall, I would say. I did find, you know, some loot along the way, a couple chests here and there with some arrows and amber and things like that, but nothing new or anything crazy. Um, the weird thing was that on the compendium, it says that electric key swings are over here in Laneru Great Spring, but I ran around this area and I wasn't really able to find any, so what I did was tra uh, fast travel back to Laneru Tower and kind of retrace my steps up to Zora's Domain I remembered that there were some along that path right there, and I did find a big nest of them somewhere in here and ended up getting way more than I needed which is pretty nice. Um, other than that, I did go back to my house and drop off my Great Thunderblade or whatever and took the Royal Claymore that was there instead. And I also dropped off um, a couple of the bows that I had been using, or that I had been carrying around rather, that I don't really need. I've got one Frenic Bow and one Lionel Bow left, and then we've got refreshments waiting for us at home whenever we want them. But for now, they're just taking up inventory space that I kind of need for other bows. So, it's time guys, I wanted you guys to be back in here for this to see uh, what this set bonus is going to be, because I'm crazy excited. Okay, enhance away, here it is. Climbing gear, level 2, give me that shit. Alright, let me do my thing. I need an adult. Okay, and that's all she can do for right now. We do have, uh, what is it, the Barbarian Helmet, I think it's called, and then the Diamond Circlet Helmet that could still be upgraded, but for those we need, like, Lionel Horns and, uh, Diamonds, actually. Diamonds upgrade the Diamond Circlet, which is appropriate, I suppose. So, I guess the next two Diamonds I get, I won't sell them, I'll just hang on to them and start upgrading, uh, the Diamond Circlet as well. So... Climbing, jump, stamina up is the set bonus for this. Okay, well, it's not rain-resistant properties. Like, that was like my number one hope, but this is the next best thing. I'm still happy, I'm not gonna complain. We need to go test this out real quick. It's kind of like when you ask your girlfriend for a blowjob and instead you get like a half-hearted hand job. You're like, well, you know, at least I didn't have to do it myself. It's still, it's still good, you know? So, okay, so there we go. Now we can jump this much and it takes that much stamina that's actually that's not as much of a decrease as it was for the zora armor with the dash in the water but again still good i'm, I'm gonna call that the half-hearted hand job upgrade and i'm really really happy that we got it it'll definitely help out with this crap ass stamina wheel so good i'm glad that is out of the way okay guys now i think we actually need to go back to where was it? Right around here? I want to go back to that mountain that we were trying to climb before everything went terrible. I think it was right around this area. Let's go take a look. Ooh, okay. Yes, this is the spot. Over here are the plateaus that I was trying to take advantage of before. And it looks like there is rain coming. God damn it, I don't know if I'll be able to get this done in time before the rain shows up. I hate this area. Why does it have to rain so much here? All this is doing is screwing me over and making me sad. I just want to get to the top of this mountain. Why is that so much to ask? Man, I don't know guys, maybe there is no rain resistant stuff in this game. Maybe that's just not a thing. I really thought that like at some point you would get something like that. It would make sense to make it like a potion, you know? Something you could, like, access at any time, really. Hey, look, that stuff is still blown away. That's good, at least. You don't have to waste bomb arrows on that. I think there's actually probably some crafty things I could have done to get that stuff. Like, if we had attached an Octo Balloon to our bomb, and then, like, used a Korok Leaf to push it up that way, that may have worked. I jumped too much, and here comes the rain. <sighs> And look, it's it's here for the next three weather increments, too. The game just doesn't want me to come up this mountain. It doesn't want it, guys. What did I do? What did I do to piss this game off? 
I don't get it. But I'm crying on the inside and on the outside. You know, the other thing I've noticed about, like, the geography in this game is it's... It seems like it's often set up so that there's really no good place to build a fire. Like, if I could just build a fire somewhere and just wait until, like, tomorrow, I mean, that would be one thing. You know, it would be annoying, but at least it's, like, a way around this shit. But I don't think it's gonna let me do that anywhere around here. I mean, I could try. There's a little overpass right here. Let me... There's the wood. Oop. Hold one of them. You can't hold that here. Is that right? You just can't do it. There we go. Okay, so... I'm guessing this is not gonna work. But... Holy shit, it worked! Yes, awesome! Okay, let's go until morning. Hopefully when we get up, the rain will have fucked off. I'm kind of amazed that works, honestly. Okay, now we're good. Now we can do this. Finally. <laughs> oh, give me something good. Hey, the Master Sword is ready to go now, too. That's good. Uh, yeah, I had used that up along with my uh, Mipha's Grace during the hunt for the items. I see that waiting until morning doesn't do anything to recharge Mipha's Grace, which is logical because that would be maybe a little broken if you could do that. The Master Sword, I, I kind of feel like maybe it did work on the Master Sword, though, because I don't think that thing was ready to go. But, I don't know, it's hard to say. Okay, third time's a charm. Climbing this mountain. Oh, grab it, Link! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God, guys. So now they're just gonna come up with other ways to dick me over during this. I don't know what the... I, like, I don't know what is at the top of this place, but it, it better be something amazing. Because I feel like the game is working behind the scenes to keep me from reaching this place right now. But you know what? We will not be deterred. It won't happen, guys. We are the Hero of the Wild. I guess that's what this guy's called. I'm actually kind of curious about that. You know, like, starting with Ocarina of Time, um, a lot of Links had, like, a special title that was... You know, related to the particular adventures that they had in that game. In Ocarina of Time, he's called the Hero of Time. In Wind Waker, he's called the Hero of the Winds. And in Twilight Princess, he's called the Hero of Twilight. It's all very appropriate. Makes a lot of sense. This guy, I guess he would be called the Hero of the... I guess he would be called uh, the Hero of the Wild. Which is actually... Like, it, I don't know. It doesn't sound great to me. It doesn't really roll off the tongue. But maybe there's something better... As we get closer to the end of the game. I'm not sure. I just barely made that. Did you guys see how close that was? Okay. Right here. This would be so much easier with just... Even just a little bit more stamina. Just one or two extras. I think I can stand here. Okay. I could stand, but I was also just slowly sliding down, so... <laughs> It's a halfway recharge. It's better than a no-way recharge. Yeah, we're definitely going to need, like, a lot more stamina upgrades, though, because even with this upgrade, like, it's helpful, but it's not nearly as helpful as the Zora upgrade was. I still find myself just, you know, almost falling to death in lots and lots of places. Let's come over here and grab this Korok right quick. What are we going to do for him? Is this going to be a target practice? Where are the targets? Where are the damn targets? There's got to be something somewhere. I just don't know what this is activating. What the hell, man? Oh look, a flying V! That's kind of awesome. Okay, well, I'm confused about this. Maybe there's another secret to this one. Something we have to figure out. Is that a chest over there? Look at that! It's a chest that was just, like, blended into the background here. But I can't pick it up. What? There we go. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, thanks for that. Back to this thing. What the fuck? Jesus! Okay, so they want us to stand right here. Okay. You have to stand in a very specific spot. That actually, like... That no joke caught me off guard. That was a little frightening. <laughs> I was like, ugh. This is very easy. Okay. Why was that one so easy? Whatever. Easy once I actually figured out where to stand. I should... I should clarify. And we got a rock to bomb up there. I don't see the heavenly glow up here right now, but maybe that's just because it's, you know, the middle of the day. Or maybe whatever's up here only activates at night. Hard to say. We're gonna find out, damn it. But I see that rain encroaching. It's on the meter now, guys. It's on the way. We gotta hurry. We don't have time to dick around. I gotta get on solid ground over here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I think we're good here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we're good. Now the trick will be blowing this thing up without blowing myself up. Maybe if I do it, like, from the far side. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I also got a fresh hammer at my house, so that's good. This thing should last us quite a while. There's some decent loot there. No diamonds, though. Okay. Here we go. We are starting to crest the top. Hmm. I wonder why this thing exists. We could try to shoot it somewhere. Actually, those trees right there kind of form a goalpost. I wonder if there's, like, another one up top that we should try to knock down. Eh, I don't know. There's a lot of trees here. Maybe we have to, like, launch it from here and try and make it land on top of one of the, the plant platforms. <laughs> that seems utterly impossible. So I kind of doubt that. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm not going to try and smack it anywhere until I really know for sure, like, what my goal is. I'm sure there's something there. It's just not readily apparent just yet. Ooh, you know what? These look new. Mountain crows. I've never had crow meat before, but it's probably delicious. Raw bird drumstick. Okay. So! Hi, Mountaintop! Would you like to tell me what was glowing up here so that I may be in on the secrets? I should very much like to know. There's a lot of crows up here. Is this like an ancient graveyard or something? It's like some Resident Evil shit. What is... Why is there just a lone cooking pot and a chest and a rock up here? Oh, Forest Dweller's Spear. The Koroks made the spear for Hylians. The shaft is made from a light, sturdy wood offering ease of use. The spearhead is made from a much harder wood offering strength. That's the kind of thing I would like to bring. Being made of wood, it could be very useful in the right situation. And also, I'm not sure that I have a picture of one of those things yet. Sorry, Korok Leaf. You're being exchanged for the Korok Spear. Nice. Oh, that is the other thing I did off camera, guys. I actually got a fair amount of new compendium entries. Like, uh, it was a lot of, like, farming tools and a couple monsters, I think. But again, I, I don't feel like I, uh, robbed you guys of anything <laughs> not doing that on camera. We're still gonna go through some of those compendium entries at some point. I just have to get in the mood to do it. Right now I'm pretty focused on actual gameplay. Finding things, unlocking things. Jesus, look at all the birds up here. There's a pretty tree up there. Okay. Let's blow this thing up. Maybe there will be more ore for us. 
Oh shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, I can't even be I I can't even be mad at myself for that. That was fucking hilarious. Oh man, good thing I was able to save myself with that parasol though, or else I could have been real bad. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Korok! Yay. I imagine there's gotta be like a shrine somewhere up here too. I don't know. It just seems like there would be one hidden somewhere up in this whole area. More loot. So it looks like we can actually just run up the path here. I guess if we had came from the other side, we could have just ran up the whole way. Is that a shitload of birds? No. Flowers. Okay. I was going to bomb them if they were birds. <laughs> Is that too morbid? I don't care. I'll bomb birds all day. Fuck birds. They're annoying. I hate them. I don't know if you guys have ever owned birds, like as pets, but they fucking suck. They're just the worst pets. I don't know why anybody has them. Yeah, that's right. That's what I think of you. Shit face. Give me your meat. That's all you're good for. Birds are only good for eating. Always eat birds. This tree up here actually looks like the same kind of tree as the Great Deku tree. He's got like the pink leaves going on. Maybe this is like his offspring. Silent Princess. This is a spring, isn't it? Silent Princess is growing here. That means... That means this is related to, like, Zelda in some way. What does it say on the damn map? Satori Mountain. Satori. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Maybe it's just a coincidence that there's Silent Princess growing here. Yet another Korok. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't even intend to do that, but I'm not mad that I did. Hmm. There's some more rocks. I wonder. We should probably hang out here until like nighttime. There's something going on in this place. I don't know what yet. Ah, it's hiding some big hearty truffles. <laughs> I was like, there's gotta be something underneath those rocks. Okay, let's keep going up to the very top. Very quickly before the rain shows up. Mifa's Grace is back. That is such a cool ability. I really can't wait to see what the other champions give us. I mean, because Mifa's Grace is an ability that's like... It's pretty damn strong, and it's pretty unique to this game. I can't really think of any other abilities that have been like that in other Zelda games, so... I just wonder what else they have in store for us. Okay, so this is like the very top, I think. We've got some bird eggs. Can't take pics of the bird eggs. Oh my god, it got cold up here! Dude! Okay. Is that really all that was up there? It was just bird eggs? I really feel like I'm missing something. Ah, here's another Korok. Oh shit. Die, fuckers! Ah, I missed him. That sucks. No, I didn't miss him. Hey, hey, check it out. More meat. Meat for me. Oh, this is probably, like, this could be a cool shield surfing section. I'm kind of low on shields right now, though. I don't know if I should really do that. Also, where did this go? Which direction did it go in? Oh, this sucks. I lost track of it, guys. Oh, here it is. Nice.
They should have called this place Korok Mountain, because that's like, what, number five I found up here? And right there's a freaking shrine that I almost just skipped right over. <laughs> there's the shrine I was looking for. I knew there was one up here somewhere. I knew it. Okay, well, maybe by the time we're done with this, it'll be nighttime and we can go back to the spring and see what's happening there. But first, let's see if we can't get rid of these leaves. Aha! Another Korok! Are you kidding me? I mean, that's awesome. We need, like, what, 23 of them, I think? So, we're getting a good start right here with all these. And now we have a convenient fast travel point if we ever want to come back up here. Let's see, you can run down smaller monsters atop your galloping steed, but don't forget that you cannot make quick turns when traveling this way. Yeah, you can't really ever make quick turns when your horse is an ornery bastard. I guess I should try and max out my uh, bonding level with Asteroid, because I haven't messed with him for a while. Ooh, this looks fun. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Moglaton. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Synced Swing. Wonder what that could mean. So this thing is in constant movement. The other one is still. We got... Oh, man. We got one of those, like, puzzles over there where, like, you hit one thing and it transfers the kinetic energy through the others. No! That's not even a little bit what I was trying to do right there. But thank you for that, I guess. Fuck, dude. I wonder if I should have held on to that Korok leaf. Maybe that would have come in handy here. But now I ain't got one, so... How do we... How do we make this happen? If I stasis this... I can't really hit it, though. What if I... What if I did, like, a jump attack from on top of it? Oh, shit. It's gonna, like, fling me, isn't it? Actually, that didn't really do anything at all. Uh, what the hell? Mm, this way. No! No! How many times I'm gonna die in this place? Let's take bets right now. So far we're at two, right? Oh. <laughs> this place sucks. I want my Korok leaf back. That would probably make this so easy. I don't really. Wait, can I also Magnesis to them? God damn it. Okay. That makes a lot more sense than doing it the other way. Um, so... This is gonna be janky as shit. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, okay. Made it. There's one. Actually, that's a little... That's, that's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's tricky, but it's fun. Okay. Whoop. Waha! And now this. We need to make that bridge drop. Can we simply shoot the ropes? That'd be too easy, right? Oh, I think that actually worked. Okay. Let's see. One chest, two chests. There's a toggle up there. Another Forest Dweller Spear. Damn it! Is there anything I care to drop? I could drop, like, this boomerang. That doesn't... I like the boomerangs. But it's only 14, really. Yeah, fuck it. It's not like I don't know where to go get more of them. I'd rather do that than... Leave a chest unopened. 
Although I'm starting to get, like, really full up on wooden weapons. I'm, I'm kind of at the point where I don't really need any more. Like, they would probably last me a good long while at this point. Even if I ran into a bunch of thunderstorms. So... Can I, like, set these up here? Okay. I don't want these things in my way. I want to, like... Wrap them around in such a way that they just stay up there? Oh, come on. Okay. Motherfucker. This is infuriating. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like if we wrap this around... It should just fucking stay up there. Okay, there we go. That works. There's one out of the way. Let's see if it'll work for the big guys, too. Oh. Eh, eh, there we go. That is awesome. So I gotta assume that, like... The way they wanted me to solve this was to just get them all swinging and then run through like a freaking obstacle course. But I say balls to all that. There's no reason for that. Unless you just really want the challenge of it, in which case I couldn't argue with you. Fuck me. That's a Forest Dweller's Bow that does 21 times 3 with attack up plus 6? Holy shit, guys, that's like the best bow I found by far. By far. That is awesome. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So we can move this with Magnesis, but we can't really reach it from here, can we? Oh, we just barely can. Now, will this stay right there? No, it moves down. At which time... We'll have to move those over, like, stairwells, I guess? Let's see what the toggle does. Okay. That drops the flames, which we can use to burn away the leaves. That makes sense. Okay, well, my question is, if I just ride this thing down here, is it gonna fling me off at the end? Because of, like, the physics of it? Uh, uh. Okay, we're good. And now these... Oh, these do stay. Okay, nice. And there's another chest. Holy shit. Are you going to continue staying there? Because that would be great if you did that. Ooh. Can I move these things while I'm on them? No, it doesn't like that. Okay. I'm really scared to try this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. But here we go. Oh! Oh, I made it. Nice. Gold Rupee! It's a pretty decent treasure in this place, guys. I'm glad I found this. And that would be all the chests. Wonderful. So now we just gotta slinky our way back up here. Which... It's going to require a little bit of ingenuity, I think. Position these up the right way. Bring this back here. There we go. Not too bad at all. And then... Oh, got my arrow back. Can we move... Wait a second. Okay, so we get this swinging and then shoot an arrow through it. To burn the leaves away. Except that's not working too great. Fuck. Actually, I wonder if we can... Get it swinging. 
Nope. Hit the wrong thing. <laughs> Cancel that. Oh, come on. It's a pretty tricky shot. Nope. God damn it. <laughs> it keeps magnetizing to the door. There. Fuck me. I just want to shoot an arrow through you. Why is that so hard? Uh, let's try the sword again. This doesn't traditionally work for me. Okay, that time it worked. It worked a little too well. <laughs> I tried to do it the game's way, it just wouldn't let me. So my penalty was to be set on fire. Somehow an arrow got through the door. Not sure how that worked. I don't suppose I could retrieve any more of those out here. No, okay. That's fine. We did it. Soulfulness and overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. It is so nice of them to refill your health for that. It is really so nice, guys. <laughs>